Oh. This guy's calm was... Uh. <laughs> Got flash. You know where he is? He's not back. <laughs> Please just let me play. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. I think Dunk Chai is justified here, chat. It's not like Dunk Chai is getting heated over it too far. He's just like, please just let me clutch. The only call out you've given all game and is during my clutch. Fair. Fair play. Call him out on that shit. You did have a paranoia. So what? You pick Omen next game then. If you think you can do it better, okay? Your teammates are gonna suck. That's part of Valorant. If you want better teammates, then rank the hell up. And then realize that it doesn't help. I think the only thing you can call is ultimate coming up because of kills that you got. That's the only one that I see pretty commonly or like a signature ability recharges thanks to kills or time. Uh, but flash and TP, you should know if you have these up or not. Um, you will see ultimates get called. In fact, I can even show you around where we call ultimate. And now he has ult, you see? You have ult. You ult. Saying you have Molly when they know that they bought Molly. The only time you ever give call out is like while I'm in a 1v1 clutch. Yeah. <laughs> Let me clutch. <laughs> All right, go light armor, Dunk Chai. Look at your bunny. Found them. What if it's a teammate that doesn't use util? Yeah, dude, you're silver. Dude, let your teammates be bad. Don't tell, try to micromanage them. Th this is our... This problem is really palpable in silver, okay? I feel you. Because your skill in, or your rank in Valorant is determined based off of your skill in like three different pillars, which is like your mechanics, your decision making, and then like your intuition. Um, and in silver... You'll have like players across the board with various different amounts in these buckets. So let's say you're like really good at decision making and you get a teammate who's just got good mechanics. Um, well, then you're going to want to backseat their hecking decision making because they're going to look so dumb to you. But then they're going to watch you play and maybe your intuition sucks and you're just exposed to an angle like that. Or they'll watch you clear an angle and it'll suck and they're going to want to backseat you. But you know what? It's really annoying when your teammate holds push to talk and goes, yo, bro, you got to peek this now. Or yo, bro, do this in your clutch. Play the clutch this way. No, you want to learn from your own mistakes. You want to play your clutch. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders win. but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin, or I'm taking the world to pipe. Don't try me. I'll do it. Jin picks torturous games for Brad to try and beat. You don't think Brad will ever actually beat Bashi? I disagree. You don't know Brad like I know Brad. Brad's persistent. He will beat Bashi. It will take him a long time. It will take him a long time, but he's got it. Dunk Chai! Congratulations on winning the raffle. But at what cost exactly? The RR recession continues. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Ascent VOD. Okay, okay. I don't think we've taken notes for Mr. Dunk Chai before, but let me consult the archives. Nope, it's lit. We are Dunk Chai hashtag NA1. Simple. We are Platinum 2. There's the overlay. Let's take a look.
Oh my god, Omen Harbor? We're off to a terrible start. No plan whatsoever. Typing the enemy team. Footsteps out. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. It's a bit early. When did you throw your first smoke? Cover. Yeah, so 121. I guess you're barely early. You're losing four seconds of smoke time here. Reloading. Enemy spotted me. Flooding them. Out. Okay, I feel like we have to talk about this. We just played 40 seconds of mid round and I want you to listen to your comms back. We're going to listen to all 40 seconds again. Okay. Just listen to what you calm. Footsteps out. Good. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. Reloading. Enemy spotted me. Flooding them. Heading out. And that's 40 seconds right there. Mid. Right there. You see a problem with that, Dunk Chai? I got a pretty major problem with that. <laughs> There was a lot of uncommed decisions you made. Um, you threw two smokes you didn't talk about. You heard them potentially leaving a main. Your rain up peaked cat and you watched her do it. No one else on the team said anything. Yeah, well, you have to rise above. You have to be the best player on the team. You want to rank up. This is just really lazy. Um, can you get to high yellow without calming? Of course. But not uh, through me. I, I don't let you climb being this lazy. This is, this is way too lazy. I don't want you reaching immortal with comms like this because then you'll get on my goddamn team. And I don't want this on my team. Let, let's watch the round back and I'm going to try and calm a bit. Footsteps I'm going to smoke your A main right now after you take a shot. Cover, cover, Smoking. Cover. I've got tree. Taking orb. I'm gonna re-smoke right now. Heard stim. Reloading. There's three A main. Nothing tree, nothing tree. They droned out, I broke. Phoenix cat. Enemy spotted me. Yo, let's fight cat together. Or something. What are we what are we doing here? Let's rotate. Let's I wanna make a decision at this point. I still hear two aim in. I don't hear them anymore. Probably rotating. Mid. Just mid. One more cat. Minus 88. Rim. Rim tag 88. I'll anchor down middle and then. Oh, it's lit. Dude, this with a rain is a little questionable, but I'm here for it. Sandman Jr. 91, thank you for the prime. Yeah. Bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? First of all, too early. She has a lot of ground to cover. She's not a jet or a raise. So she comes out and by the time she peeks, they're not blind. She gets hers. Who 
What are you doing? Dunk tie. Dunk tie. Dunk tie. Look, freeze. All four enemies. They have a specter. We have to accept this. We have to accept this. Arena died. We made a bad play. It's 4v4 though. And we have four guns and they're going to have one good gun. That's fine. That's still winnable. But you know what's, what's getting borderline unwinnable or very fair? Is if you die and now it's 3v3. Three specters versus two specters? Wait a second. That's pretty close. What are you doing? What is this? Sage is dicked. Idiot. No. What's our silver doing? Oh. Oh my god, is it's there? so losable. Dude. I'm gonna become the Joker. Let's see the eco strat. Let's see it. Um, Don't forget that. Let's see the eco strat. Let, 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 let's see the eco strat. Yeah, sure. We'll just throw this round away. That's fine. I didn't want that round. I just want to prove we picked six random rounds and grab comms from them, Evan. We don't review every single round. You know why? Because there's tons of VODs that submitted every day. And just look at round two. He made a good three round comp. Really, really passive, eh? Talking to the void, dude. I mean, you are talking to the void, but you're also part of the void. I'm not going to lie. Shadows traveling. Joining out, eh? Hog! Cover going out. Whoa! One gun. My ultimate is ready. I like the TP more there. Oh, you're him. Okay, if you're gonna play passive on A. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of hiding hell like this. The more common way I see it done is I'll see like this type of angle from Omens where you'll take this passive post on the lever and you can get your killer and sort of like TP out. Um, from hell, you don't have an out. Does that make sense? When you're here, let's say you get your kill for whatever reason. Now what the hell are you doing? What are we doing now? And that's similar to Sentence question. He's saying, what about this box? The box is too aggressive for one person. Because you don't have a easy way to stay alive. And when you're playing alone on a site, like we've got one, two, three, like four almost was our formation, if I recall correctly. Yeah. So our formation is all four B side. You're not expected to hold A. You shouldn't want to play to hold A. You should want to play for retake A and try to get one first. So for example, Shiro saying, I usually play dice when I play passive. That's trash. 
because you can't get out very easily if you're dice. But that's okay, because Shiro is silver and we forgive him. Um, the most common spots to play, you're playing for a retake. It, you can play really passively. Heaven, um, this angle I showed is decent. Uh, and then you can play like from tree here. This is pretty good. Uh, you can get early info and you're for sure going to stay alive. Shadows traveling. Conveniently though, we just sit in the smokes the whole round and they don't, they don't clear us. You play dice and then TP behind heaven wall. Um, the problem is you can't TP far enough. Let me show you. Let me boot up a cent. I know exactly what you're talking about. I am the beginning. It might be possible to hit the TP I'm going to show. But in the heat of the moment, I mean, I play Omen on this map. And I've tried it. I don't think this is something you can do consistently. You can definitely TP to cover, but the problem is the way that they're scaling on you. Venturian thinks it's a prime. What it means to be truly afraid. So what I'm concerned with is that you won't be able to TP close to cover here. Uh, you're going to have to TP sort of back here, which exposes you to everybody scaling sight this way. So anybody scaling quickly as you're TPing, they're peeking out this way. And I think you're dead. Because as you can see here, I can only really TP against the back wall. Like, how do you TP against the close heaven wall? I don't think you can. And so when you TP out from dice, you're dead. Does that make sense? Maybe this way. I think I'm still dead. While this angle, do you see? I'm covered. Aim higher. Yeah, but my TP's ending up back here still. So you can prop you can definitely hit it, you see. But can you specifically hit this? Nope, no, nope, I'm still exposed. You gotta get up here in the heat of the moment. Okay? I'm not worried about the wall bang, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The dice wall bang is not gonna kill you. Um the problem is hitting this TP to a safe angle is basically impossible. Oops, I missed. Well, as opposed to this angle, I get my kill and I can quite literally just TP. And I'm not worried about this because the scalers can't get there that fast. But they can absolutely get on the ground here. Smoked off during the execute. I mean, if you want to take that gamble, a lot of teams do not smoke heaven. Off rip. I guess if they're hitting you, you could smoke it. <laughs> um, but this heaven smoke is not always there for a hit. They smoke mid. Cover going out. Here. There they are. Joke's over. You're dead. Run, 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 run. This guy's calm is run. Some mid. Okay, okay. We got to talk about your crosshair placement. I hate bringing it up, Dunk Shy. But if you get peaked right now, you're dead. Let's be real. You're in an off angle, so they're going to peek a bit wide. And their head level is going to be up here. You're not worried about aiming at all. Come on up. Uh. Up heaven. Uh. Coming out tree. Ooh, we should flash that guy while we get the chance. One gen, I think. Yeah. One gen, I think. You have a really bad problem with this. Uh, don't say you're. It's like your crosshair discipline. I need to be beeping you, dude. You're asleep. Um. So you think they're gen? I don't know why you think that. They're definitely gen. Um. They're really close to an angle. You got off angle. You want to put your crosshair at head height? You want to crouch? You want to hold? Unless your ping is like over 80. What's your ping? Let's see it. 
You can 12 ping? 12 ping? Bro, hold her. Hold her. Kid, you're gonna Here, buy. Go Kid, you're buying from. This right. Out of my way. Smoking your out. That smoke looks really bad. Um, you threw it like in the middle. I'm not sure why we're not throwing it out here. So that's harder for them to come through. Here's your smoke out in the middle here. It can actually feel pretty comfortable to get out and peek out from different sides with your teammates at the same time because you got options harder to hold uh evan any ping like 20 and under is basically played the same there's no uh two ping versus 10 ping gap or whatever close right close right close right you can wall bang that bro <laughs> bro flash her Flash them! All day. There's three people! They're all there. Silence. Bro, the, I've never seen a more perfect flash. They were all holding hands. Pizza. Yo, you want to like tell the team you're watching CT or that you heard them pick up a gun market? They're out market. <laughs> Bro, this is you. This is spatial awareness. Okay, so you, you gotta understand right now, you're exposing to this. The killjoy doesn't see that. Okay? When you're routing here, you don't want to be backing up like this, exposing yourself to them. You want to be coming this way because of the way your killjoy is controlling the space yeah. behind you. You can come out here or you just hold here. But notice, chilling. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, that's not Killjoy's problem. Killjoy can't cover that. Now, Killjoy should warn you of that. To be fair, if I'm your Killjoy there, I go watch out, Omen. I don't have your back. But also, you have to earn the right to get me as your Killjoy on your team. Ricky Loila. Okay, nice pick. Deploying them. I think your pre-round plans do work, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna watch some more pre-rounds. I think you might have gotten a lucky pass on the the rules. Which can happen. I just don't see what we're doing if they rush us A, other than playing A retake and praying that we kill one. Yeah, no plan. Oh, here we go. The only time you ever give call out is like while I'm in a 1v1 clutch. So let me clutch. <laughs> Wait, let me see, let me see. Huh. 
this guy's comment was, uh. <laughs> Got flash, you know where he is? He's not back. <laughs> Please just let me play. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I think Dunk Chai is justified here, chat. It's not like Dunk Chai is getting heated over it too far. He's just like, please just let me clutch. The only call out you've given all game and it's during my clutch. Fair. Fair play. Call him out on that shit. You did have a paranoia. So what? You pick Omen next game then. If you think you can do it better, okay? Your teammates are gonna suck. That's part of Valorant. If you want better teammates, then rank the hell up. And then realize that it doesn't help. I think the only thing you can call is ultimate coming up because of kills that you got. That's the only one that I see pretty commonly or like a signature ability recharges thanks to kills or time. Uh, but flash and TP, you should know if you have these up or not. Um, you will see ultimates get called. In fact, I can even show you around where we call ultimate. And now he has ult, you see? You have ult. You ult. Saying you have Molly when they know that they bought Molly. The only time you ever give call out is like, while I'm in a 1v1 clutch. Yeah. <laughs> Let me clutch. <laughs> All right, go light armor, Dunk Chai. Look at your bunny. Found them. What if it's a teammate that doesn't use util? Yeah, dude, you're silver. Dude, let your teammates be bad. Don't tell, try to micromanage them. This is our, this problem is really palpable in silver. Okay, I feel you. Because your skill in, or your rank in Valorant is determined based off of your skill in like three different pillars, which is like your mechanics, your decision making, and then like your intuition. Um, and in silver, you'll have like players across the board with various different amounts in these buckets. So let's say you're like really good at decision making and you get a teammate who's just got good mechanics. Um, well, then you're going to want to backseat their hecking decision-making because they're going to look so dumb to you. But then they're going to watch you play and maybe your intuition sucks and you're just exposed to an angle like that. Or they'll watch you clear an angle and it'll suck. And they're going to want to backseat you. But you know what? It's really annoying when your teammate holds push to talk and goes, yo, bro, you got to peek this now. Or yo, bro, do this in your clutch. Play the clutch this way. No, you want to learn from your own mistakes. You want to play your clutch. You know where they are. Prepare for hellfire. If I'm Brim, I'm coming stairs. Nope. He's back here. Nice. There's no plans. There's no plans. This defense is just too weak. Um, I need to see us trying to make plans. How are you going to get kills with your utility is a question I need answered within the pre-round majority of the time. Here's a sample plan. Um, let me rewind 15 seconds. So here I can see I've got Reyna and Sova at my disposal. Okay. Yo, Sova, let's fight for A together. Can you come up A heaven? I'm going to talk Watch dice here. and jump spot. When they're coming out, I just want you to recon yeah. against the wall and I'm going to flash and we'll peek. We'll kill them. Bam. And you can like jump spot. You hear them coming out. The enemy team pops some jet dash yeah. or some flash. You throw your flash and then your silver recons. You peek out and you fight. And that converts super hard. It's any amount of plan to use your utility to kill them is that's kind of five head <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah look like look at my most recent youtube video uh where i'm playing ranked on haven
Thank you very much. Let's stack A site, please. And let's play very passively on A. I want... Give me right Phoenix here. back here and Jet right here. and Brim. All backside hiding. I want a chamber trip. Right, here. right out A main. That chamber trip triggers Phoenix's flashing out and everyone's fighting there. Right. I'm going to double up short with chamber. Chamber right on here. this box. We're high low. Bam! Yeah. yeah. Trap play. What if we're really dumb? We can't come up with plans that quickly? Exactly. This is... The pre-round plans thing is preliminary coaching. If you can't come up with pre-round plans, that's what you need to focus on right now. You don't need good plans, but you need plans. Where do you get your strategies? What do you mean? I just made this one up. I literally made this one up. Just stop trying to think of it as a flow chart. Think of it as what is, if they're rushing a main, what could we do that counters that very effectively? Well, Phoenix flash is hard to dodge. How do we make sure that they're out in the open when we Phoenix flash? Well, we could use the trip. It's like a puzzle and you're trying to solve it. And if you trip out here, well, that's not going to work because they could break it from back here and they've got cover. Okay. So I put the trip around the corner. So now they can only break the trip once they've crossed this line. And once they've crossed that line, they're in this flash zone. So Phoenix stand here. Okay. Now I don't want my teammates fighting because the enemy team is going to go, oh, they're stacked. A because it's eco around. Let's go see. I don't want that to happen. So I tell my other teammates to just hide. Then I'm high low. Control short. And your brain does not think this fast. Exactly. I know. Neither does mine. At first, it's something you need to practice. You need to watch back. You can pause your games in hindsight and think about what you should have called. You don't have to be right. You just need a plan. Like if I pause this mini map right here, and say so you've got Omen, Reyna, and Sova come up with a plan to hold A. You're going to come up with something if I give you an hour. Let's be real. Okay? If you come up empty-handed at that point with an hour and you've got time to go research and look stuff up, then Valor is not your game. I'm not going to lie. If you've got an hour and you can go do all the research you need to figure this out on your own and you can't, then you lack sufficient critical thinking skills. Because you could have gone and watched a Provod on Ascent and seen at least one round where they held A with this type of configuration. This is very standard on this map. And we win this round. Three blind. Barely, but we win. And even if we didn't win, we did great damage. Okay. Hard because Phoenix can do most things himself. No, he can't. You're, you're just not thinking outside the box enough. Look at my plan on Haven here. Phoenix cannot do that on his own. Phoenix needs this trip. Without that trip, Phoenix has to jump spot and reveal that he's playing sight which can have a teammate stay back and play anti, which is no good. Eyes up. Ooh, this is really dangerous. Oh, we're chilling. Phoenix just died. Are you crouched right now? I think you've been standing because you're uh, in a high off angle. Yeah, yeah, we're resetting the good mornings right now. Don't worry. And we'll give everyone plus one. Okay, okay. I'm going to defend Harbor just a little bit. We were toxic to Reyna, but it was her fault. This guy hasn't been coming. This dude's hard bot frag. He probably muted. But also your comm is like, Harbor can buy up. Like, yo, Harbor, request a gun. I got you. Even the, the way you say comms, and I'm guilty of this. I get tired too, okay? I've, I'm actually actively working on this. I need to keep my comms high energy. 
Your lack of energy in this comm dramatically affects the odds that somebody listens to you. He's saying, Yo, Harbor, I've got extra credits. Request, I got you. He's going to convert way more than Yo, Harbor, request a gun. What should we do? Try and make a plan with teammate, get donor wall? What do you mean? That's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't care what you do in that case. You play like this guy. No plan. That's fine. If you're attempting to make good plans every round, pre-round, then that increases your odds of winning over the course of 10,000 rounds. I, I don't know about individual rounds. I am everywhere. What would we come? Hey, Silva, if they drone out, can you shoot my... I back? am oh, everywhere. Close, right? All right. Thank you. Look at that! Don't he just said... You're... Look at that! He just said... All right. Checkmate, chat! Checkmate! This guy would have listened to my play, too. Yo, Silva, if they're rushing A, I'm going to play dice and flash. I want you to recon high. Look at... Mm -hmm. Everyone always says, what if they don't listen? But nobody says, what if they do listen? Five head. Kind of hard to plan in 30 seconds, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is the first thing you need to fix. Before you get VOD review from me, if you came earlier and you can go fact check me on this, this used to not be a rule. And I would just tell this to every student on repeat. I'd sound like a broken clock. I, I'd be like, oh, you, you need to pre round com more. Come back in a week. Oh, you need to pre round com more. Come back in a week. Oh, you? You need to pre round com more. Come back in a week. So we made it a rule so that you have to fix it. It's not easy. I'm not saying, oh, it's so simple. Just go pre round com. No, no, no. Every time you struggle to come up with one, which will be frequent, clip and review after the game and come up with one. And then you'll, you'll pick it up pretty fast. Cover going out. Bro just broke glass. Enemy spotted B. Shadows traveling. Man, I sure wish we had class right now. <laughs> Man, I wish there was some like way we could tell if they're coming heaven right now. <laughs> um, this is bad gunfight hygiene. You tagged him. You have to commit to the spray. Throw uh, the one way and I'm gonna try to one. It's lit! What's Raina gonna do? Cover going out. Oh, Raina's gonna walk A main. I am the hunter! Yo, Wuhujin, have you coached a team before? Yeah. Going out. 80 jet. You will not kill my allies! Always oh, a lit. We finally get to contest mid. Bro, you actually aim at the ground. You actually aim in the dirt. It's painful. You have to aim it for head height at the back wall. Back wall. Look at the back wall. I think head height's like here. You're aiming for head height at the front wall, like if they were going to peek close. You don't want to do that. Nowhere to run. Oh, wait, wait, we got peeked. Did we... Do you see? Nowhere to... Wow, he actually even peeked close and we're still too low. Look at that. <laughs> You're actually still too low for the close wall. I didn't even realize because I never hoped the close wall. Man, that guy didn't walk down mid. What the hell? Yeah. Revealing area. Close. Oh, Tuck right, cubby. First contact, Omen. 
Okay, you're just tilted. Dunk chat, you sent a tilted VOD. If it were 0-0 zero, zero right now, fresh game, are you doing this? Are you playing first contact Obed with classic light armor? Full util up? I don't think you are. I think you're tilted. Another Lucker TTV. Thanks for the prime. Revealing area. Close. Tuck right, cubby. And yeah, we got laid out. So I think we're loosely tilted because there's no comms. For you, Rena, to walk out, Arch. Oh, oh. Plan. All right, I'm throwing a, yeah. a cat smoke here. For you, Rena, to walk out, Arch. I guess that's the plan. Shadows traveling. Sentry. How I do it's every individual person needs different advice and you have to watch your own VODs back to tell if you're too passive or too aggressive. Cover going out. Cover going out. So you hear them taking the orb, they kill your friend, and you're like, I'm gonna shift walk around the corner, stand still, ADS, and then move? That's your technique? Cover going out. I'm not gonna lie, this is my technique when they tap the orb. Here. I ping it and I come out and I I click them. Blurry, thank you for the three months. And I would AD peek them. Reloading. I don't have smokes here. I think this guy's I think this guy's tilted at this point. There they are. Closer, closer, closer. Or maybe he has the worst specter hygiene in the world. ADP? Yeah, like don't use W or S. Just move laterally. Coach Sentinels, they need you. I would fail epically at that. I am not even close to as good of a coach as somebody like Kaplan. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Attack doesn't look that bad. Cover going out. Attack? It's really your gunfights look terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Do you practice your mechs every day, Dunk Chai? Oh my god. I can find a death match from December 29th, 2022. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six death matches ago. All right. I've seen enough. I know what we need. People always, always assume I don't think mech practice matters, but I do. I think it's very important. I think you don't need to spend time researching how to make your mech practice perfect every single day. I don't think you need to worry about like your mouse DPI or raw Excel, or if your sense needs to be tuned by a 3%. That stuff doesn't matter. However, you do need to be... It's like the person who goes to the gym every day and just does a random workout of like decent lifts. They're going to get decently swole if they do that every day. As opposed to somebody who learns like the optimal gym routine, but they go once a week. 
they're going to be a lot less swole than the guy who goes every day. It's more about how many times you get to... Here's how I see it. Your mechs are as good as the number of weeks you've practiced them, where in that week you practiced at least five days with at least five days of practice. So the number of weeks you have of mechanical practice, where at least five of those days you completed your full practice routine, that's how good you are mechanically, basically, in my opinion. That's the main determining factor. Defense, pre-round plans need to be far more uh, thought out. I expect to see good attempts, eco rounds, and at least half of equal buy rounds. General. Your gunfights suck. And it's no surprise why. You have played six death matches in the past six months. Practice your mechanics for 30 to 45 minutes daily. Aim for at least five days a week. The roast? No. It's it's true. <laughs> Wait. Bro, look at this jump. This guy. He played one death match on December 29th, 2022. And the one he played was more than a year before that. 380 days earlier. There's a 380 day gap here. No wonder your mechanics look terrible, dude. At least he's consistently inconsistent. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. I will be collecting receipts on your mech practice. I don't care what you're doing for it. But I need proof that you're doing it. Spend a single time investment of no more than an hour to come up with your routine. You can just steal one from the internet. You can steal mine. Just don't play grid shot for 45 minutes. Use some common sense. That would be ridiculous. If you want it easy, I've got one. Max routine, gold plus Hujin. Hey, bam. This one's really easy. It's mostly deathmatch. It's got some aim training, but mostly deathmatch. <laughs>